Hello everybody, my name is Brittany Shine and welcome to My Natural Hair Delight. Today I'm going to show you how I flat iron my hair. Um, I am halfway done with my hair. Uh, so I braided it into eight sections and I only have four sections left. Let me show you the back. So I'm actually, I need to comb it first. Just so that y'all can see it really good. It still looks good anyway, but yeah. So this is what the back looks like. Okay. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I haven't flat ironed my hair in I don't know how long. It's been at least about a year, probably two years. But um, tomorrow, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow is my birthday. So I'm flat ironing my hair for my birthday. And it's supposed to be sunny outside. So hopefully I get to enjoy the sunshine. Today is rainy, really raining outside. So I'm, I'm glad I'm able to stay inside and not have to worry about my hair um, exposed to the rain. But um, if you ever flat iron your natural hair, uh, make sure that you have something to put over your head when you go outside if it's if it's raining because you don't want the water to pour on your hair and because that's just going to defeat the purpose of flat ironing your your natural hair um because your natural hair will curl back up and then it'll be all over now if it's a little sprinkle sprinkle you may be fine just you know don't stay outside too long but um <laughs> yeah so uh flat iron the back of my hair and now i'm about to show you the front so i use the blow dryer just to kind of stretch it out and um i use the comb as well to stretch out the ends because um i was trying to flat iron it and and when i flat iron the when i flat iron my hair my ends were still very rough, so I couldn't really get the ends like I wanted to. So I just used the the blow dryer first to actually, you know, get that out and then I flat ironed it. So blow dryers work really well for natural hair if you're trying to flat iron your hair. So um, I tried not to use it the entire time, but if I really need it, that's a good uh, backup plan just in case. And I wouldn't recommend you flat iron your hair all the time. Like you want to do it every once in a while just so that your hair can, can keep growing and, and let it stay healthy. Like you don't want to put too much heat on your hair. But um, every once in a while, if it's like a special occasion, that's like the perfect time to do it. So, all right. So the uh, what I use on my hair is coconut oil. Okay. This is the only thing that I put on my hair. Um, I actually put water and coconut oil on my hair last night to detangle it and section it into eight, uh, part it into eight sections. And so today I'm just going to use coconut oil again. And I'm going to put it on my ends first. Then I'm going to work my way to the top. And I'm not really sure if this is a heat protector, but I would recommend using coconut oil because coconut oil works really well with heat. So, <laughs> um, is it a heat protectant? I'm not sure, but does it work well for flat, uh, flat ironing your natural hair? Yes, absolutely. So what I did is I took a little strand about this small, okay? And then pin the rest up. And then I'm going to use this comb. to just comb it like that again. And then I have my Remington blow dryer. I'm just gonna blow dry. I'm actually going to use my other hand so I can get the comb. Now 
that's just to make sure that my ends don't uh, get tangled up at the bottom because when I flat iron it, I want to I, I want to make sure that my hair is all the way straight from top to bottom, <laughs> not just the top and the bottom look rough. No, I want it to be smooth all the way down. So um, now on this particular strand, I didn't really need the blow dryer because my ends weren't that rough like i could just comb it through smoothly just like that but at the back it was very very rough so that's why i used the blow dryer now it's time for the flatter so um make sure you don't get it too close to your ears like you just want to get it to where you want to uh flat iron it and then and then you just go down like don't hold it too long at the top because then that oil will go to your scalp and you will feel the burn. <laughs> so just make sure that you get just enough of the hair. And then use the comb. Okay. Just like that. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Smooth from top to bottom. And it's shiny because of the coconut oil. The coconut oil makes your hair really shiny and smooth. So that's why I use coconut oil. And it's 100% coconut oil. It's not coconut oil and some other type of ingredient it's just coconut oil <laughs> and it works out just fine all right I'm gonna move this camera a little bit so you can see the edges so you see how smooth the edges look I didn't really get close to the edges like that but I just got as close as I could without burning myself and I didn't burn myself um, and this is how it looks so it's just very straight very smooth and it's best to flat iron your hair after you wash it because that way you'll have a, uh, a fresh look on your hair and your hair is clean and yeah so I wash my hair with pure castor soap. It's uh, the Equate brand, and that's what I use on my hair. So, yeah. It's funny when you go natural, your hair is longer than you think <laughs> because, like, this hair is long because it's flat iron and it looks short at the top, but it's just super curly. Well, once I flat iron it, it gets longer so it's pretty cool See? Long. <laughs> Make sure the ends okay. Perfect. And just comb it with the rest of my hair. Alright, y'all. This is my last strand. My very last strand. It's been a journey. <laughs> it's been a journey. It's been a journey. Yes. So um Got my comb here. Comb it. And 
then there's a sweater. And my hair is flattened. <laughs> so. <sighs> so, yeah, this is what it looks like in the front. And this is what it looks like in the back. <laughs> it looks like on the side. That's the most important part because if your ends are not straightened, your your entire hair is gonna look funny. <coughs> Excuse me. 